Hey guys, Filthy Robot here with the Roomba, continuing our attack team with America. Uh, we're gonna try to get through a couple turns this time, maybe if we're lucky. And two, uh, two or three. here we are. We lost that Stonehenge. One turn. We had glorious dreams, and they're dashed. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We don't have a lot of production here in Boston. No, Boston needs help immediately. So the first thing I'm worried about is already one of three housing. Yeah. So ne next time it grows, it will be out of housing, which means it needs a granary. Pretty much no choice there. Now, is there a way, is there any option to, to be able to spend gold to buy buildings and units? Like you, yes. can, you can buy units, but can you buy buildings? You can. Purchase with gold, right? Mm-hmm. Now, you, you say you're really tile purchase happy. Why, why not just buy a granary, for example? Because I don't really care about anything else the city's building right now besides a granary. What else would it build? No. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just trying to get you to articulate your thoughts on it. That's all. Okay. Oh, no, I wasn't taking it as criticism. I'm just trying to explain. So for me, it's basically... There's going to be a wonder over there in a second. But uh, for me, it's basically yep. this with the new cities, right? New cities don't have a lot of production to spare. They can't really be doing things unless they're a really nice new city and it was one of your early new cities and you're spending a lot of cities. They can't really have the time to build uh, workers or things like this, right? So your capital is going to be doing the brunt of that. So what I'm trying to do with my, my new cities is get their infrastructure up so they can continue to be grow, so they can start growing and be useful in the late game. And that means really for me getting housing up as soon as possible, at least for them. So that's the rationale for the, the granary anyways here. He has like one health. Right, so we finally finished something here. Yeah, um, let's grab a... Go. Have you noticed, and maybe I'm crazy, sometimes in the top right corner it will say what the last thing it was that it built is, and it isn't right now, and other times it'll say it, but it'll be the wrong thing. <laughs> it'll I say, oh, you built a spearman, when you actually just finished a granary. And then you build another item, and it'll say, oh, you built a spearman. No, I didn't, I just built an archer. Like, <laughs> it's not right. Yeah. Anyway, I don't even remember what we built here. It was. We built a like, granary. So uh, yeah, housing. I, I, my, uh, the only other way to improve housing besides granaries or aqueducts is building uh, farms and plantations. By the way, so every, I think it's every two farms or every two plantations you do. Each one, each one of those, excuse me, every one is 0.5 housing. That's something. I'd get that unit. We are gonna. We have the bonus towards uh, naval production right now. Yeah. And we wanted to do that, and that gives us an envoy. So let's do it. Okay. So this guy maybe should heal or. Sure. Maybe you can go wherever he wants. You can go east. You can heal when you when you settle a city. Like have the escort for now is fine. Late. Okay. Uh, sweet road bonus right there. So it did connect. It's just that one tile we missed. No, is this where it came through the first time? No, it's not. We, we the came east. through that one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. North, south. Experience. Now get the wonder for the experience. But as I headed into the heart of New Zealand's Fjordland, that Three same tiles, huh? like feeling, long lost, a pure, yeah, doesn't seem that good to me. Awe. All right, so we gained what looks like maybe five experience. Keep yeah, going, like... keep going, or now go north. Either or, I'd go west. Let's see if we can find Goody House in the corner, but maybe not. Nice call. There you go, lucky. Yeah, improved two sea resources. Apparently, we already have a boost to uh, celestial navigation. I don't know where that came yeah. from. Was a we got it out Goody Hut? Yeah. Okay. Give us the Harbor District, Great Lighthouse. Hey, it's a wonder! It is a wonder, and I think the lighthouse has, uh, I believe, housing in it, which is super good for these coastal cities. So, a regular lighthouse, and then there's the Great Lighthouse. You have still to have gives... a regular lighthouse before you build the Great Lighthouse, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Must be built on the coast. District. Wow, we need a Harbor District and the lighthouse in order to build the Great yep. Lighthouse? Jeez. Yep. Seems like a lot of work, just for three gold and plus one Great Admiral. And the yeah. one movement. It does but, feel like a lot. I prefer Colossus to Lighthouse, Great Lighthouse, it, but... Am I crazy, though? Civ five. it was you built the Great Lighthouse, you got a free Lighthouse. Yes. And you got plus one movement and plus one uh, sight. But no so, Admiral. So it was really good. Uh, no, it wasn't particularly good either. It was situationally okay, but this one seems particularly... A, a lot of the wonders. So here's something else to talk about, I guess, I suppose. Uh, the wonders in Civ six are more expensive in terms of turns than they were in Civ five. So... Building early wonders is really painful compared to what it was in, in Civ Five, because it just takes more more time to do it. So a lot of times I find that some of these wonders I don't touch until later eras. Now when I start playing against higher level AI, I sure they'll take them all anyways. But lower level AI I leave a lot of them till later. So, all right, what are you looking for? Mm, I want I, I want I want aqueducts. So I'm worried about max max uh, growth in all my cities already, or all your cities already. So we need to ideally. And the only thing I might consider doing before that is construction. 
So we have construction boosted already, so it's half off. We might give ourselves time to build ancient walls to get engineering half off. And I believe one of our inspirations for one of the social policies that we want is actually triggered by finishing construction, I think. You can't buy ancient walls? No, you cannot buy ancient walls, which is a change. So you can never militarily build a, buy a wall in the middle of a fight, which is interesting. Hmm. Well then, uh, you were going to settle here. Yep. And have you ever used this feature? Uh, I, I've used it once or twice, and actually, I was reading some comments before we started uh, recording the other day, and I was looking at that, and they were saying, you should really do that for district placement, because a lot of times I apparently will plan out my districts and forget about it before I build the next one. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Will you uh, double check for me our uh, the requirement for our tech path right now, our social tech path, social tree tech path, civic tree tech path? Yeah, so games and recreation <laughs> gets a boost from... Three different tries there. Three yeah, different we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's their social policies. They're Civ Six social policies. That's yeah. what these are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, games and recreation gets a boost from research and construction. So, my my preference here would be mysticism, drama, and poetry. We need games and recreation, anyways. So, let's go construction into engineering. To do construction Those are both boosted. Looks we good. Need, yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I understand. Sounds good. Let's do it. And you are definitely going to be building this. Yep. Was looks like his. I think that was actually his last build, right? No, no he still he has, has one more. One more. Nice. I think we should do the iron. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. It's tough though because uh, it would be nice to sell off that copy of the luxury. Does uh, what's his face? Uh, November down there. Does he have uh, dies? November? You're talking yeah. about the sieve? Yep. Well, Congo's the sieve. I think his name is November, right? Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. How do we check? Uh, make a deal with him. And he does not. Okay. So well, this, actually, this is weird. Yeah. It, it will let you trade away your very last one now, which is yes. very strange. Well, you, still, you can always trade away your very last one. You can do that in Civ 5, too. Huh. Um, all right. So let's send him a delegation. We, we, we can cozy up to him. We can kill him later if you like. It's only 15 gold. Let's send him a delegation. 25 gold, apparently. It's gone up since the last era. It was 15 before. Okay. You notice that, um, wait, whoa, that, was there, they must have patched it, because this thing was saying before, unknown reason for me. Ooh, I haven't actually seen this either. So we have plus three standing for sending a delegation, minus two for different governments, and three for open borders. Interesting. That is interesting. I have never looked at this menu, and that's really cool. Okay. Well, up until literally right this second, every other time I've come here, it just says, unknown reason, unknown reason. It'll say all the different things that are there, but unknown reason. Okay. So, access level is limited. Is this new? No, this was here. Shared. You, okay, no, you, uh, when I was watching you play on your stream day, you never clicked on any of this stuff. I thought it was weird. Yeah, I probably don't. I don't pay a lot of attention to diplomacy, but I ought to. All right, information shared. Alliances, government changes, denunciations, cities founded, trade deals. Okay, next access, access level, we get hidden agendas revealed. To raise your access level, research the printing press, establish a trade route, play as Catherine, become allies, send a spy, or use, many, or use someone else's great merchant ability. Okay, cool. They want us to bring our religion to them. Well, we don't have a religion yet. It's going to make it challenging. Well, does it, you look at it that way. <laughs> Maybe a camp up there. Oh, we'll definitely take this, right? He can take the hit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Iron working. Hey, that just gave us an envoy. That's, yeah, but we we're going to get that. I guess that means we don't have to improve iron anytime soon now. So Lisboa likes us better. We have two envoys now. We also almost have another envoy. Well, 30 turns, 10 turns away. It's not a lot of point in bringing If you look at what that bonus does, read the read the second bonus there. Yeah, it's pretty crap, because we don't have any commercial hubs. Right, it was actually quite good late game, but it's not, not very useful right now. All right. Need more housing, housing in our capital, uh-oh. It's okay. That's why we're taking aqueducts in the near future. So we should stop doing food, yes? Yeah, I think so. I think it's worth I mean, you still do grow, but it's just reduced. Oh, I would take yeah, those three ones. I'm looking at it now, like it's like okay, well, we could either work the one two or we could work a three food tile, and I'd rather have yeah, the production. I'd even go. I'd even go further though. I'd go from the six to the three one. Yeah, I like All it. Right. So Get our hammers. One two two production. And that actually saves turn off that. You can see it in the bottom where it actually updates the tooltip, the bottom right. So it says five turns. Nice. That actually may be kind of useful then having this thing be wrong, so you can actually see the the change. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way of looking at it. I feel like when you press the escape key, it shouldn't do that. I agree. 
Like if you're looking at this, escape should just take out you out of, the out of city that. With the hockey. Exactly, without opening a menu. I agree 100. percent You and I get along quite well, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely for the hockey stuff. I'm 100 percent behind that. I like as much control over my stuff as I can get. So. <laughs> Oracle. I want to build it. Let's build it. Oh, we don't want to build all the wonders. Let's Why get not? the good wonders because this wonder's well, not that good. It, you you can't you can't wonder whore in. In Civ Five against DD AI, right? You can versus Prince AI. We can fire up. Okay, exactly, we'll exactly. We can't. We should take advantage. We can. We can't wonder whore later on. Where's the wonder now? We'll do it when we record the Civ Five stuff. We'll do the first game. We'll do it on Settler. You can get all the wonders, and then we'll get that out of your system. And the next game, we'll do it <laughs> properly. <laughs> <laughs> properly. So wonders are only for cheating AI. Is your is your thing here? And the early game versus DD, yes. Versus players, no. You, but you, even versus players, you have to be picky. You have to decide which ones are going to be good. Um, okay, so this looks that looks fine to me. We're still building that unit, right? I think so, but for how much longer? Uh, two turns, yeah, it's probably long enough. I mean, we, yeah. we're, we're gonna have our wonder soon. Well, there's not better. I don't. I don't see another policy that really calls to me. Do you? I mean, there's nothing else that's particularly strong in there right now. It's all it's all production towards military unit stuff, and we don't need that. We don't need combat unit stuff. We don't need double. We need that. Stuff. We do need that. We need that. Oh, well, it depends. Kinda could use this. Yeah, yeah. The only thing to sub out would maybe be conscription if you don't care about the gold, which we could do nothing. Except That's for maybe, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no point. Just leave yeah. it as is. So I don't like the military policy stuff because unless you're actively warring, like it's just the the economic ones just seem stronger in the early game. Now, however, we can actually. I think can't you change government now? Every time you get the social unlock, can't you change your government type as well? Yeah. Do you want to see if uh, these bonuses? So we do we like how many points do we have towards this bonus? Do we know? You can One. see a little tick right here. We have 1%, and in six more turns, we get another point. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, so do you want to change it's again? Not, no, it's not really an optimal time to change. Like, I, It'd be cool if like you change, and then you come back, if it remembers how many turns in you were. Because yeah. having those timings, though, like like six turns would be the ideal time to make the change, if you're going to change. You know what we did, too? We screwed this up. We were, Remember we were... Well, did we or did we not? Is drama and poetry is the prerequisite... Uh, the one we just finished or not because a lot of these remember we're trying to get we're trying to get at least one or two of these down to one turn so that we can easily flip flop like in two in a two turn two turn set of turns like turn whatever it is uh 61 and turn 62 changing it twice allows us to do things with those really temporary ones like purchasing units or purchasing tiles cheaper you can flip flop those and not lose a lot of the long-term benefits of the other ones which would be nice but it might have been a requirement i don't know also you can do the uh sending envoys for the two, yeah. the two bonuses. Yeah, that's a good and one. And then switch, too. switch right back to the extra envoy generation. Yeah, yeah um, I do that too. Well, okay, we're, we're going to build a wonder. That's going to be done in like five turns, which is going to be perfect for drama and poetry. We yeah, need drama and poetry for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're going, we're going for the next government choice, essentially. You, you wanted aqueduct, which required ancient walls, though. We're not working on that. Well, yeah, but we're going through construction to get the boost for um, games and recreation, which is the other social policy we need. It's a, it's a little complicated, basically. Yeah, it does. It does get a little bit like that. And it also, sometimes I run into, and maybe this is my own mistakes as opposed to the game's mistakes. I just scoot one tile before promoting so you're not adjacent to them. Yeah. You like the idea of promoting them? Yeah. So if you move to like one tile southeast, actually, is that this is three tile pa unpassable. Like, we're going to see anything else there? Or you want to run Don't, all the Well, way? we will. We will after we take the promotion. Yeah. With, with seeing through jungle. Oh, okay. It's water. Okay. So. Century, right? Uh, move through junk. Can you? I, I'd actually go one tile. I'd, I'd wait on the promotion until next turn. So basically, move two tiles over. Yeah. And then one more. And then take the promotion. And the next turn, we can grab it. Uh, but yeah, seeing two tiles would be great. And we just have, doing that because we get further away from the barb there and we can promote at a better time. We have a free envoy from something we did. I, I think we just actually finally reached it. Because you don't get free envoys. If you get a, an envoy with a city state, it auto assigns it. This is just our, our timer has finally done something, right? No, it's not the timer. Uh, the research we had just finished. Oh, it gives an envoy for the, te the tech. Yeah, I don't remember which one it was. It was social policy. It was it was uh, mysticism? That was last turn. Did it just not show up? Yep. Awards oh, one envoy. Awards one envoy. Okay, cool. So uh, the level one bonus, I think, is better in most cases, right? Yeah. If, if I, I save them a lot, but since we're not accruing all that many, I would definitely throw it into the cultural one. I think that's totally fine here. Uh, we're, we're already looking at a bunch of cultural stuff that we'd like to do faster, and this is that's a decent increase, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, sir. You, uh, you totally kill that guy. Any reason to have him take the kill? I mean, he's almost level. No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I'm, I just want to see what's behind him or anything else. Go to the goody hut or keep these guys shooting at it stuff. Up to you. 
If you're not doing anything else, that's fine. The annoying part is they spawn a lot. Like, if another one spawns behind us, we don't want to be clearing this one. I forget, if I move here, will he lose you're all of his movement? No. Nope. So you won't be able to move out of that tile, but you can still attack. Yeah. I was worried about. So yes, uh, yes kill it or no? Uh, indifferent. Equals pass. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> I pass. I defer. Pass the decision. <laughs> it's your fault now. Hey, see, I'm glad we have that still here dummy indicator. Yeah, I like I, it too. I kind of want to map out our, some of our districts with that. That was actually recommended to me recently, and I think it's a really good right. well, idea. What, maybe we take the time between episodes to put in a few district thoughts, and then sure. uh, that way we don't spend a huge amount of the next episode or this episode just kind of doing nothing. Okay. So still decision, thinking decision iron here. or luxuries? I'm thinking dyes. We already got the boost out of uh, ironworking from that thing, so let's put the dyes online so we can sell it to uh, Mavembo over there. Okay, we'll need to buy that tile, but not next now. Not not now. Next turn. Yep, I'll actually turn after. Man, that city to the east is looking worse and worse. Just because with only one guy, we got to meet more players. We're getting we're getting a galley up. We should be doing that soon, right? Next turn, yeah. This is a standard size map, though. It's not even large, and it seems like there's just not. Uh, I guess maybe there. Yeah, there's a ton of space out here. This is yeah. a regular size map too. How big is the damn thing? Don't know. I don't know how. Civ Five kind of lied to you a little bit about the borders, so you couldn't see exactly where you were by moving the mouse around. So I don't know how big this is. And I've had very strange uh, responses from doing uh, from doing continents. Sometimes I get like I've seen cities on city states or cities on like single like single city continents you know what i mean like there's no room at all so we have very few cities here but there's a fair amount of room on the continent although it would have been really tough with another player here i'd move two and then promote yeah even then like yeah okay all right not gonna mess with that oh but that just did make something interesting here do we value a second marble more or less than a third dies because we could settle on our side of this area. We could get a second, or we could get a third dies over here. Still get it coastal. We lose the fresh water bonuses. Probably. So you're, you're thinking like somewhere in this area in between these two targets? It's an, it's an option. Yeah. I'm not I'm not thrilled with it necessarily, but it's it's an option we could should we, we should at least consider. I mean, I kind of like the idea of getting the food and the science. Like settle on the stone. You can reach the dies. You can reach the marble. Or I, yeah, I'm, I'm maybe still. Maybe you have to settle on that. I don't want to settle on 2 2 stone. It overwrites it entirely. And it's a great tile. I'd rather settle on like one of the two ones. Two but the ones? only problem is two ones or yeah. one twos. Well, one two is fine too if we buy the tiles. Yep, that would that would be fine. Put some marble three out as opposed to the rest of it. I do prefer selling on hills. You're you're picking up that bug for me, which I like, which is good. Well, I see it now, and I look at it, and I think one two becomes two two, versus yeah, this, exactly. which is just stays two one. So yeah, I mean, one extra free production seems like it's very very important. And also, this is a thing that I'm I'm starting to get when I when I've played Civ Five in the past. I've always thought, okay, it's either inland or coastal. There's no other option yeah. um and now i'm starting to think okay two tiles in is still considered coastal because of yeah. the, the the district the dock we don't yeah the only thing is we don't get any if we settle on that hill there we get no uh, uh food bonuses at all here no but i not sorry not growth housing is what i'm talking about oh right 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 none at all you're right that is kind of crap i mean and i guess um... the problem is right now if we're, we're putting our second dies online right and we're about to settle a city for third dies we only have one person to sell dyes to right now. Oh shit, there's second tobacco down there too. Did you see that? And we don't have tobacco yet, right there. So mm. what if we settled this coastal like there? Yeah. Like the not the hill tile, not the grassland hill. We don't want to settle on grassland hill because it's amazing. Because you can improve that to make an amazing tile. But like that grassland tile, satin range, that could be settled. That gives us coastal but no aqueduct. And it gives us two, three luxuries. Two of which would be one of them, which is actually unique, and one of which is a bonus one. We can still buy out to the science tiles if we want them late too, but it is quite a hike. I mean, we're we're in position to settle on the other city now. And what were we gonna get from this? Nothing really, uh, except for dies. Two more copies of dies. It's pretty close too. It's not that far. It's like six turns. No, I would, I would, I would move. I'll go for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we'll create a new pin. Can you move pins, or do you have to just create? New ones. Don't know. Looks like you have to delete. There should be a shortcut key for adding pins. Huh? They're pretty quick to create. I, I'm, can we can we just escort that? Where can the archer go? Bust that little tiny bit of fog over by the mountain. 
It could be coastal resources. We might get another city out of this. It could be like any of the coastal resources there. Oh wait, he was already not in escort formation. Yeah, so next turn we'll Okay. We'll do it. Alright, so good. this guy uh probably maybe stick around, see what this guy does, or should we just keep exploring? I keep exploring. You have open borders, you might as well go right past this area. Plus we can see through woods. Yeah. Which is no, awesome. not that guy. It's the other guy, right? Ah, damn. Well. So less awesome. But the idea was awesome. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, uh, we're going to take a break here. We'll, we'll poke around a little bit with some district thoughts, and uh, we'll be back then in the next one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.